everybody, my mm. name is Petra Rabbit, mm. and you? I'm Vihan. <laughs> <laughs> so good to have you with us, Vihan. Thank you. <sighs> I had a long day today. Mm. I'm drugged. You're not so well, are you? No, I wasn't well last night and I took cetrazine and I'm all groggy and I got like thermocol in my ears. Oh. You're going to have to help me out. Your whiskers all curled up. Oh, oh, yeah. I have something behind you. Look behind you. It's scrambled oh. words. Oh, am I yeah. supposed to unscramble these? Yes, let's see if... This is, Vihan can do this. This is long. Can you look at that? That's a long. Is that one word? Yes, that is one That's word. That's one word? Yes. Okay, not, it is not in the good. Bible. One clue. Yeah. Old English. King James Bible. Oh, dear. Yeah. That's the only clue? That's the only clue. Okay. One more clue. Ends mm-hmm. with an E. I don't know how much that's helping, Petra. It has a V in the middle of it. That, Somewhere near the middle. That's something. Okay, let me just... If I could get the starting letter, then I think I'll be all right. It starts with one of the alphabets. <laughs> My joke, joke, joke. What is the topic today, Petra? Maybe that will give me a hint. You are unscrambling the topic. Oh, I'm sure if these people saw it, they would be able to know, but... They will see it. Under pressure, I just... The second alphabet, it starts with this E. Is it reverence? No, but there's no P in reverence or C. What did you say? The second alphabet is an E. Dash E. Which book of the Bible is this word from? Galatians Uh, 5.22 in the King James. Oh! Don't... No, you cannot... She's cheating! She's... 5.22. Okay, that's a gifts... That's a gifts chapter, right? Patience, perseverance... No. Oh! (sighs) Per... Yeah, per... Yes, she got it, 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 she got it. Oh, wow, that's a VRN. That's a very interesting word with a lot of interesting alphabets. Yeah, good job, we had. Good job. The other word for it would be patience. Patience. Yeah, but patience kind of doesn't push it, does it? So I'm bursting with questions. Yes, you? I feel so much better after figuring that out. Thank yes. you for, the, for the, all the <gasps> hints. You persevered. <sighs> yeah, I've been watching all your videos and how many have you done in your life? I think about 500. Woo! 500 videos. Way too you many. Push, push, push through. hmm I want to ask you about a day Mm -hmm. or times when you do not feel like pushing through and just want to, you know, roll over and give up. Yes, like just five minutes ago. What, because you were coming on little lights? No, I could not find the word for nuts. (laughs) Okay, now come on, let's get serious. I want a bad story from your life. I have one. Tell me. It's not the truth. It's... (laughs) I am thinking of a moment where I didn't want to keep living necessarily. Oh my goodness. What you? Yes. And um, like after... What happened? After doing so much for God and after God revealed himself so much to me with so much beauty, it was sad. What happened? Well, you all know Johan. Yeah. He was going through a really rough patch. We... We're already sad that he didn't have this beautiful vision that we have. But he showed us that there's another way to see. So we began to cope with that and knowing the other beauty of the world, which cannot be seen through our eyes. Right. But once we got used to that, he got seizures. Yeah, and uh, that was difficult because we, we couldn't help feel like... 
Why? Why did he have to get this sickness? After that, he got better, but then he had these behavioral um, side effects because of the medicine he was taking. And then it got really bad. Because of it, I used to get so angry. With who? With everything. But more, more than anything, I was so angry with myself that I was angry. <laughs> yeah, I know that feeling. Yeah. You just want to go and punch the wall, mm-hmm. that even that can hurt you. Mm-hmm. So what do you do? Well, I wanted to punch a lot of things. And, um, did you punch some people? I did. Who? I do not wish to say. Oh my. But that's part of the that reason. That bad, huh? Mm-hmm. That's part of the reason I was so angry at myself, because I couldn't control my emotions. Who? More. More. Yeah. So this was the point. I kind of wished, you know, Jesus would come back and take us all. Really? Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Did I didn't... they have felt like that? Oh, Petra. <sighs> Why did you feel like that? I thought maybe I had this coronavirus. Oh. My throat was on fire. Mm-hmm. My body was having an earthquake. Oh, man. I was feeling a fever coming on. Is it still there? No fever. No fever. I'm yes. fine today. <laughs> I'm grateful. But yes, perseverance. What do we? What did you do? So you were angry. You felt aggressive. You were yeah. hurt. Yeah. And then I took it to God, of course, and I told Him all my feelings. Mm-hmm. I said I don't feel like continuing this this kind of life. I do not see how I can. I told him all those things. And what did he say? He didn't really say as much as he surrounded me with his peace. Wow. And he let me yeah. know in my heart that it is not as bad as it looks to me. And that it's going to be okay. Yeah. And did it become okay? It definitely became okay. Where I realized God was in control of each and every situation. You got out of that, that particular place. Yeah. Because you went to God. Yes. And he gave you peace. Yes. So that helped you persevere. Yes. Could you define persevere or perseverance? What's that? Is that the same as patience? If I were to have an image, perseverance Mm -hmm. is pushing a huge, much bigger ball of mud than yourself constantly pushing and pushing and pushing without seeing where you're going, without knowing what's going to happen, but just having hope inside. Wow. That's how I would define it. Like you see ants pushing a ball of mud or sand right across the floor. Yes. 40 times (laughs) bigger than themselves. Yeah. So, tell me more. What do you think when you say perseverance? That's our topic for today. Speak on. Did I speak so much? You asked me what was the difference about... Between perseverance and patience. And patience. Hmm, That's good. Patience. Patience is more of a... It's the state of your mind where you're just like not losing your head. But perseverance is actually doing the pushing yes. part. Yes. Yeah. So easy to say this. Yeah. So easy to say. Is there, is there a Bible story that you could give us? But I'm remembering King David. Mm-hmm. Because he was anointed as king when he was very young. Yeah. And he did not become king immediately. Oh. In fact, he was in hiding mm-hmm. from the actual king at that time for, I think, 20 or more years. Okay. And he was just running from this king whom he loved, constantly holding on the promise that he would be king. So he was fighting these big battles and winning and leading people, but not getting to be king. But he just kept going, even though we can see in his Psalms, he says, God, why are my enemies constantly chasing me? He talks about depression. He talks about crying. He talks about feeling panicking, panicky. 
but he still kept going yeah until finally one day he was appointed king as was promised so in other words if god gives me a promise i hold it and i hold it monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday again monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday january february march april may june july i hold it and i persevere persevere in holding it and praying or hold it all by myself how do i do that please don't do it by yourself no done work for me please so, take god's hand in this hold his hand see the hand all this is so easy to chat on this a little child who's not so well yeah and we pray that people get better but you know like your brother johan you prayed that god would give him back his eyes i heard that one yeah and god then say nobody he didn't say yes either did Mm-mm. he Mm-mm. so what's the promise you have for healing for a child who is not getting well this verse which was and there will be no more weeping no more tears no more pain hmm. that's so beautiful could we have heaven on earth now today today sunday monday our simple lives we want heaven now yes. how do we do that we want to be happy now also for yeah. whosoever believed in jesus will not die but gain eternal life does not only refer to after this life but it also refers to right now that is such a big thing to say How does a small child understand that? Good question. Children, you do not have to go through sickness or death or fear or difficulty on this earth alone. But when you hold God's hand, God is going to help you through each and everything. He is going to keep you safe. he is going to keep you well until he says that let my child come back to me in heaven until that point nothing can touch you and if it does you must remember god is in control of that situation he is seeing everything and he loves you you have to trust god when i say eternal life It is not talking only about never dying but it is talking about the life with Jesus which is a joyful life a life that not necessarily everything is awesome all the time but it is great because Jesus is your friend Jesus is my friend too right all of our friend <sighs> so your brother takes i heard about seven tablets a day mm-hmm. and sometimes an injection so jesus is with you when you are taking your medication yes when we are in pain mm-hmm. does he make it better uh sometimes yeah and sometimes you feel the pain yeah sometimes he's holding your hand as you go through the pain yeah i have to say this because i heard about a little child who was in pain mm-hmm. and i saw this word perseverance yeah and you may say it's a very big word for a child but there are people in pain today mm-hmm. so how do you persevere you know at 7 o'clock tonight you got to take an injection mm-hmm. and i persevere i do what then you need to remember the truth which is that even though you cannot see god mm-hmm. you cannot see jesus mm-hmm. he's inside you like a heartbeat yes like my breath yes i love that we hand he's our best friend my head is all fine already <laughs> just thinking 
that Jesus knows you and me. Yeah. It's the best thing that could be possible. So just persevere and never, never, never stop thinking we are alone. Do you have a song about perseverance? I'm remembering one, hmm? which I wrote actually. Okay. It says, Don't waste time worrying. I love this one. Don't waste time losing your head. Don't give up the chance to turn around and look ahead. Because there are a million reasons why you should look up instead cause in the tunnel of sadness there is light hmm. at the end when you get here through the gates here next to me here with me here with me Rejoicing and dancing and singing and laughing in heaven. Oh, 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 in heaven with me. What a. S- you wrote this? Mm hmm. Why'd you write a song like that? Because I was worrying. About what? A billion things. Like, okay, so you got just got the song? Yeah. This was God's message to me at that time and now to you. So I'm thinking, what is the opposite of perseverance? Is worrying? I think so. <laughs> Accurate. Isn't that funny? They didn't teach us that at school. Okay. I saw a word in the Bible that I've never seen before. It's in my message um, translation. Mm-hmm. Could you tell me where it is, okay? Oh my. The word superhuman. Superhuman? <laughs> yeah, in the Bible. I don't know if I've read that. That's in the Bible. Oh, superhuman, superhuman. Okay, I'll give you a clue. Okay. New Testament. Your clues are like... Of course, it, it would be in the New Testament. It's not in Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. It's not in the Revelation. It's not in the book of Acts. Is it in Galatians? <laughs> neighbor, neighbor. Neighbor. Mm. Ephesians? Neighbor, neighbor. Ephesians, Galatians. Ephesians. It's an eon, not an Ephesian. Te- te- yeah, te- Thessalonians. Thessalonians. It's behind you with a bookmark. Oh. In it. Could you read that? I love the Oh, you put it already here. Yes. So I think it is in the second half of huge passages of big words, but you know, we can Google and I find. got it. First Thessalonians 2 verse 13 says, You welcomed our message, not as the word of men, but the word of God, which is at work in you who believe, exercising its superhuman power in those who trust and rely on the word i love that that's a lot that's of great word. yeah but we can be more than just you know average oh no this is full-on superhuman yeah and just think what that means for a little rabbit that I can be more than a human super rabbit yeah all made by God <sighs> wonderful thought makes you want to rejoice what rejoice. yes and I think your brother Johan has a song yeah that he wasn't too good today but he gave us <laughs> he gave us a song that he calls what rejoice Okay, so he was have. a bit sleepy, but ah. he did it. So grateful, and thank you so much for being with us today. In the thank you for talking to me, Petra. Yes, a serious topic, too. We talked about yeah. perseverance. Yes, we did. So if we persevere to believe, believe that He is our best friend and He's with us in pain and no pain days, then we can be more than 
conquerors, we can be superhuman. More than ourselves, more than a rabbit, more than a girl, more than a boy. More than pain. More than pain. Okay. Thank you, Father, for this beautiful day, for this beautiful super rabbit and (laughs) the superhuman that you have made me because of your word in me. For the super children watching, the super kids, the super parents, the super brothers and the super sisters. Thank you so much, the super teachers. Thank you so much for each of us. Because of your word in us, we are superhuman. Thank you. Help us to persevere by your own word, Lord. Bless us in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Hold on to Jesus. Rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord.